All right, real quick video today. Uh, we're gonna talk about JSON formatting. Um, you may or may not have seen this issue. You might have if you're clicking on this video, right? Um, so the, the file that you use to configure feeder is in a specific format and it likes to have things all in a pretty order. <laughs> it needs to have commas where they're supposed to be commas. It doesn't like white spaces where they're not supposed to be white space. Um, and so sometimes it's easy to mess that up and not realize that you have. Usually you'll get that output as an error in, in your terminal and it's kind of giving you a clue. Uh, it should look something like, like this. So uh, check your host settings or app settings file. Uh, you know, it's telling you where the error is on line number 20, but you know, sometimes that, that's not enough. You may look at line 20 and, and go, well, I don't know what the problem is. That all looks good, you know? Um, so there's a cool website you can use to parse this. And uh, I ask people a lot of times just to paste it in there and, and start looking for the errors. But even that, I realize there's a couple more things we have to go through to make this easy. So I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> how, to, how to how to do that. So this is the website, it's jasonlint.com. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna paste that file into here. And then when you're done, you hit validate. And it's gonna kick you out an error. Now, a lot of times if you have comments in your folder or in your file, it's gonna come up with an error because JSON typically does not like to have comments in it. It works with feeder because feeder strips those out when it parses, but uh, typically that they're not allowed. So to make this work, you have to delete all those comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll probably just cut later so you don't have to watch me do this for the next 30 seconds or so. All right, so I've deleted all the comments and now we're ready to hit validate again. So I'll validate and okay, so now it jumps and it's saying, okay, well, I think the error is here. So once again, you may look at this and still not realize what to do. Um, the best thing to do in this case is probably to pull another file, like a default file from, from the GitHub and do a comparison. And you can start to see the, where there's things that you don't have them. Uh, in this case, you would catch that there's supposed to be a comma here. Uh, I could put the comma there and, and uh, close all that statement out and I'll hit validate. And then it comes up with another error and it says duplicate key. Okay, duplicate key, what does that mean? Well, can't have more than one of these duplicate keys okay, in your file. In this case, there's two lines that say polo pairs location, and it's not happy with that. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Okay, and then we'll hit validate, and now it's green. Once you get a green valid JSON file, you're good. Copy the whole thing, and go back to your file. Paste it, save it. Okay, you're good. Uh, the second thing is pathing. When you get a, if, you, if, you're, if your path is not correct, feeder will probably just complain about your not being able to either find your API key or be able to read it. It's gonna say it's, it's invalid. Well, if it can't find it, it's kind of the same thing. So you really need to make sure your pathing is correct. So uh, your Windows path is here. So this double, it's, it's two slashes. You have to use two. If you're in Windows and you don't know what your path is, um, you can open a command prompt, okay? And you can drag a folder into a terminal and it's gonna give you the path of where that thing lives. And you can put that path into your config. Check the slashes, you need more than one. So it's gotta be doubles for each of these when you copy it in. You can do that in a Mac and I think you can do it in Linux too. Um, let me see, <laughs> never did it. Let's try it. Uh, open terminal. Um, just grab oh, my test folder. There we go. Yeah. So same thing. It'll tell you what the path is. Um, it'll escape it out with these these guys if if there's uh, spaces. Uh, that's the other thing you want to make sure. It's a lot easier to have a um, a path that doesn't have spaces. You know, you know avoid that. Make it that. Uh, but in any case, uh, a space will, will, will freak it out too. So I think you can just do it like that and it'll be okay. Um, but anyway, so uh, JSON files got to be validated. Uh, make sure your paths are correct. Those two things solves probably 50% of the stuff I see every day. So hopefully that helped. Uh, if you need any other uh, assistance, just jump in Discord and hit us up. All right, see you.